But yeah, I gotta go into my classic, my number one, probably one of the best songs I've heard in a good while. Blood Big facts. This, this joint right here, Fire. I haven't actually seen this video in quite a while. I've listened to the song, Same. but I haven't actually watched the video in a, in a long time. I think the last time I actually watched the video, like intentionally watched the video, was when I re-reacted. Like, I think I reacted to my reaction to this and was just cracking jokes on myself. Uh, oh, yeah? Yeah, like, I think I think that was like a thing. It's like, for like a two-year anniversary, I went to look back at some of my popular videos. Let's 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 watch a timeless classic. We are playing. We're just uh, playing a bunch of songs off the queue. We're about to get into that right now, Josh. Oh, let me actually put the captions on just because. Beautiful ass man. Man. <laughs> you know what they did great about this is that they gave him a lot of white backgrounds to make all yeah, the right. bright colors pop. And mm -hmm. then they have like some of the gray. Bro, I didn't notice that they put the eye of God in this. That's actually a celestial body right here. This is called the eye of God. It is, oh, shit. yeah, the, I think it's called the Horus Nebula. This right here. This oh, is I actual, think I've heard of that, but I never knew what that was. Yeah, so, like, it's nicknamed in, in uh, <clears throat> astronomy, it's called the Eye of God, because it's actually, like, from this perspective, when you look at it, it literally looks just like this. Now, some versions of it are edited to have different colors, but this is pretty, like, a pretty accurate look. So he falls into the eye of God, which is actually really cool. Like, I don't know if there's some symbolism oh, there. Oh, that's dope. I never, like, I never knew that. Yeah, like, I just peeked it because I'm like, yo, well, and, um, that's <laughs> oh, really, you really smart, dope. smart, smart. <laughs> nah, like, <laughs> oh, you smart, smart. I just peeped it. <laughs> I told you I'm an astrophysics nerd. <laughs> hey, hey, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, let me some stuff. So here's some more astrophysics for you real quick. That was a solar eclipse. That's solar eclipse, yeah. So we got a lot of space going on right here. So yeah. when it comes to solar eclipse, <clears throat> the crazy part about it is that if this actually happened, the solar eclipse actually happened eight minutes before you even see it happen. So when this sun is completely covered up, it's not actually covered up anymore. That's the way that like light travels in this space. So yeah, yeah. the sun is light, uh, eight light minutes away. So if oh. the sun was to actually like if so if there was some type of celestial being that came and just grabbed our sun and took it away, we wouldn't know for about eight and a half minutes. The sun would Sheesh. still be there. So like for the eclipse, the eclipse is already done. But we're seeing uh -oh. it in past time. So this is a this is a oh. cool, this is a cool thing. I want you to think about this. If you go to a planet that is sixty five million years away. 65 million light years away and you pull out a telescope that's powerful enough to see earth and you look at earth you'll see dinosaurs because the light that left earth and got to that planet is just now reaching there it's just now reaching that planet that's 65 million light years away isn't that crazy oh well, that's crazy yeah, okay. that's the, so the way light works that's the way that it's at you can literally like so time travel in essence, can be done in that way too, because light will travel and, it'll, you know, because that's how we see. We see the light goes into our retinas and we process that information. So right. If you go that far away where the light hasn't reached yet, then if an alien 65 million light years away was looking at Earth right now, they would see dinosaurs. They wouldn't know there were people here. You see what I'm saying? So that, that's the crazy part about it. Yeah, that's, there it is. You are correct, sir. Hey, Look, hey yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get to this song. <laughs> Enough nerds. <laughs> Welcome to my TED Talk. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my TED Talk. I let us know. I love that. Hey, I was like, yo, he ate that up. <laughs> right? I'm saying. I love that. 
It's so clean. When he first hit that note, I was like, my boy. All oh, right. the spilled, look, the spilled Cheerios. Not the oh, spilled the Cheerios. Cheerios. <laughs> I remember that. One of the most classic uh, moments. I'm so happy there's a full version of this song out. Yes. So like stuff like this, bro. When he does stuff like that, he just looks at you like, yeah. Like you know what you're doing. Like you don't you you <laughs> like that's one of the only people that I know who can just look at the camera for like a full five seconds of his video and just like look at you. Like All who right. else do you know who did some stuff like that or who does stuff like that regularly? Like. You got to know what you're doing if you can do some stuff like that. Exactly. Man's a pro. He's a pro. Snatching souls. That's what did it. That's what did it. That's what did it right there. Yeah. And then he start breaking the spot. Yeah. Little, that little, that little, that little smirk on yeah. Him. Yeah. Yeah. We, we weren't ready for the for them uh visuals right there. We was not ready. That that right there had me uh was like, man. Being alive. Yeah, I mean listen, like seeing seeing BTS live was was oh, man, unexpected. He's so lucky. Honestly, bro, like like I said, thanks to thanks to uh the homegirl Chris. Um Right. She she like she wouldn't take no for an answer. Like me and Josh was like, yo, like we just did a giveaway. We wanna give away more tickets. You can't like nah, like I wanna, you know, if you, you like, hey, I got these tickets for y'all. No, here, we'll give it to somebody. There's plenty of people who really want to go. She like, I wasn't asking. <laughs> y'all going with me. We going together. That's what the tickets is for. I was like, Well, me and just kinda, All right. me and Josh kinda looked at each other and was like, I mean, Let's do it. You know, we'll record the trip and Damn. tell everybody, you Let's know, go. how it went and everything. And honestly, because of that, I actually, that's, after that, I genuinely became a genuine fan of BTS after the concert. Right. That was, that was what did it for me is because, like, you get to see the hard work. You get to see the practice. You get exactly. to see the choreography. And then just kind of hearing more songs that I hadn't been exposed to yet and, and not really knowing because people are recommending you, you know, dozens and dozens of songs that take me forever right. to go through them. And having the setting of seeing them perform the song live versus seeing, you know, uh, uh, just seeing it on YouTube or watching it at home with me and mom or something like the vibe is different. The crowd is different. People, oh, yeah, for people, sure. Like, uh, the, everybody around us is crying, bro. Like, they're, I mean, they're in tears. And then, like, right. when they're about to leave and they're performing, uh, was it Miracle Somos? I think is the name of that song. Yeah, yeah. Like I hadn't heard that song before, and like that was like their outro song that they were leaving to, and they're just like na 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 na, and like and uh, they're waving I... by, and everybody's like bawling their eyes out, and I'm sitting here like I'm like yo, I'm getting emotional right now, like dang, <laughs> like because I was feeling the song, I'm like yo, I really rock with the song, and it's Man, perfect song I'm... to like wave by to as you're leaving. It's like the perfect song to go out to, and just like. It, it was kind of crazy, bro. Like that that experience was just it was honestly wacky, and I love the fact that we were able to do what little we could to use the money from Patreon to give people concert tickets because, you know, like somebody got to go who probably wouldn't have been able to go. You know what I mean? Like, I, I honestly it was it was crazy. I I really hope that you're able to go at some point whenever they start touring again. I don't know. Oh yeah, that was one of the best days of my life. Yes, my mother's day with my daughter and I mean, yeah, like honestly, it was that was that was a crazy, crazy, crazy time. Honestly.